Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our chest and tricep muscles, basically push based workouts. Straight away I am going to start with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side as usual no matter which body part we are going to work on. This is, an, this is a particular stretch which I would never skip as a pre-workout. It makes sure that my chest muscles are also opened up as you can see as I lean down and try to reach out onto the other side my chest is getting both contracted and as I turn up my chest gets stretched so it's an overall mobility exercise great one uh, when done pre-workout make sure you complete at least five repetitions you don't necessarily need to hold any of these stretches for more than five seconds since it is completely a dynamic stretching routine done post uh, post workout you may hold it for 15 to 20 seconds then we move on to our deep squat our mandatory deep squat for the day hold there for 5 to 10 seconds and we are done let's begin with our warm up exercise today for my warm up i am going to do incline bench press two sets 15 repetitions with a mix of alternative hand and both arms at a time just to ensure I take my hands to the range of motion, get my chest a little bit warmed up, let the blood flowing into my chest. The increment of height which I prefer in an inclined bench is just minimum. I prefer it to keep it just about 30 degrees, not about 45 degrees. 45 degrees is what usually people do use it but when I place it at 45 degrees I feel more of uh, my shoulder activation so I prefer to keep it at 30 degrees the benefits or the kind of chest work I get done is almost pretty much similar flat bench the reason why I don't prefer flat bench again is because at this particular angle I'm able to work my entire chest flat bench I kind of feel that my upper chest muscles are not working as hard so I prefer to keep it at 30 degrees. So to start off with my working sets, my first set itself, I went as heavy as possible. I went with 30 kilo dumbbells and I decided to drop the weight down as I progress in my sets. I have done five sets of this inclined bench press after two sets of warm up. Make sure you start your first set with the heaviest weight possible. If that particular weight is not really heavy and you don't have multiple increments to drop from, you can also start at a challenging weight and keep doing the same weight for three to four sets and if you get tired you can obviously drop the weight and switch to a lower weight you can also use the rest pause technique wherein you rest for five, uh, 10 to 15 seconds if you're able to achieve only five or four or six repetitions because our target repetitions here are only eight to ten repetitions because we are going to do a lot of sets so you don't necessarily need to get 12 repetitions out of it. Total 5 sets. By end of this particular exercise, you would be particularly tired. You would also get a good amount of contraction in your triceps. Again, good for us because we are going to work on our triceps so we can get both the muscle work done. Make sure, But make sure you focus on your chest contractions. Try to get the dumbbells across your body. That's the job of your chest. Cause adduction. So go down stretch and come up and contract as much as possible focus on the contraction once done with this exercise i moved on to my calf races i've done two sets of it standing calf races while holding a kettlebell you can choose to hold a dumbbell you can use straps or any kind of grip weighted vest is also absolutely fine i have done as many repetitions as possible trying to get my calf work done for the day we will keep training our calves on a regular basis firstly to improve their strength and size because that's one of the body parts which I feel are on a weaker side for me so I'm going to train them every day to get the growth happening and you can train it in case if you already have good calves I envy you firstly and secondly you can still continue training them because calves can take a lot of beating before they get tired for my next exercise, I'm going to do the cable crossovers, four sets, 12 to 15 repetitions. And here I'm going to insert an anatomical representation of what's happening to our chest while we're doing this particular exercise. Make sure you take 
your arms across each other trying to touch your both your elbows very difficult but try to do that and you will feel the maximum amount of contraction in your chest muscles also make sure the cable is always in line with your elbow or with your arm so that if the cable is too high or too low your shoulder starts getting involved to stabilize it and also the amount of contraction start becoming more shoulder based so when it's in line with your elbows you get maximum amount of chest work done i use a cue as if i'm trying to hug someone that makes it a little bit easier but the i think the second the earlier cue of getting your elbows to touch each other is much easier while doing this particular movement your bicep starts pushing your chest in and you get the maximum amount of contraction four sets of these after five sets of incline dumbbell press would put a lot of demand on your chest so take breaks i usually try to take only 60 seconds break in between but when you're tired and you feel that you'll not be able to get as many repetitions as possible make sure you take a break long enough for you to go back to the next set and get the target repetitions closed in you may not uh, you need not actually take a break in between the calf and chest exercises like we move from incline dumbbell press to calf muscles and then again back to our chest so you need not take a break in between these exercises because we are working different muscles but in between sets of chest you may take a break 60 seconds is maximum required because you will recover very quickly you don't have to load extremely heavy on the cable crossovers because our focus again is on contractions trying to get the chest adduct as much as possible by crossing over our arms against each other but for every repetition for my next exercise i going to do hanging leg raises this exercise is a bit challenging if you are absolutely new and if you have never done it i have done this previously i am just struggling here because i have not done this in a long long time really like this exercise because it gets a maximum amount of contraction for my stomach my abdominal muscles you have to make sure you crunch in the air you just shouldn't lift your knees up but you have to create that crunching movement in the air how do you make sure of that by getting your butt cheeks in front of you basically as to the wall so if there is a wall or a mirror in front of you your ass should you should be able to see it trying to try to get your legs as straight as possible for me i'm still struggling with my body weight so i try to get it while keeping my knees bent if you're not able to do hanging leg raises you can do it while laying down on the floor similar range of motion trying to crunch while raising our legs into the air for my next exercise i am going to do the jm tricep press my plan was to do cable rope push downs i wanted to do them but unfortunately the cable machine was quite busy and i had to switch into a different exercise so this is something which you may also do if for example if you are following this particular video and the bench is not available but the cable machine is available please do the tricep push downs five sets again 12 to 15 repetitions get the tricep work done we already know how to do the tricep push downs we have done this earlier also so whenever there is a particular exercise you are not able to do for any reason make sure you replace it with an alternative i will try to mention more alternatives on the future videos as i go forward but otherwise i plan to do rope push downs cable machine was busy so i started doing the jm press jm press is pretty easy you just need to make sure the dumbbell you start your start off point should be the dumbbells on the shoulders with the tricep at a stretch and then from there you extend your elbows into the air like i am doing here get the tricep working make sure you touch the dumbbells onto your shoulders every time to get that extra bit of stretch work done on your tricep muscles and from there push it out and as far behind as possible like we do the behind the head tricep extensions once done with my tricep work i moved on to push ups again this is a compound exercise compound body weight exercise you may load it with extra weight on your back if you want to but i am pretty sure you'll be 
pretty much tired after so much of chest and tricep work. I've done three sets of it with the first set easily able to get 12 repetitions. I was quite confident. I said, okay, second set and third set also I'm going to get 12 to 15 repetitions. But then I realized my muscles started getting tired. So I was trying to get 8 to 10 repetitions. When I was not able to get those, I started lying down on the floor and then pushing up from there, which is something which I have mentioned earlier. In case if you are unable to do a push up, you can lie down on the floor and push up. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the workout, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet sub subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comments, I would appreciate. I'm finishing off with my static stretches for both my tricep and my chest muscle. For chest, the benches were busy, so I'm using a BOSU ball. I lied down on the ball and with a PVC stick, which we do have done this particular stretch earlier, just stretch beyond, cre creating abduction, basically opposite movement of your chest muscles. For triceps, just lean, place your elbows at a support and lean back. We have done this earlier too. Thank you again for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.